Welcome back, everybody. My name is Tim, and this is another Real Ideal Gear Review. Today, we're looking at the Islander Pen Railroad Watch. It's a sport watch, kind of a dressy sport watch, but it has a lot of great features and a lot of great um, attributes that really make this watch a durable watch, one that I would wear probably more frequently for work um, with one minor change to the watch setup. So let's go through the five things that I typically go through when I review a, a watch, which is size, fitment, finish, accuracy, legibility, and loom. So as far as the size goes, this is a smaller diameter watch. So those of you with a smaller wrist will find this very uh, watch friendly to your wrist. For people with extra small wrists, I think this might be a, an option for you, although the strap um, does not have the holes to necessarily hold the watch onto a very small wrist. As my wife found out, she put this on. She loves the watch. She loves the design, but it was just too big and too loose on her wrist. So I just punched another hole into the strap, a little caveman-like, but it works. Um, so anyway, it's as far as a, a watch for smaller wrists, definitely. For the larger wrist people, this may be one that's a little too small because it is a 36 millimeter case. So keep that in mind. Also, it's not a real low profile watch. It actually has a pretty high profile on the watch, on the wrist. So when you combine a smaller diameter dial or smaller diameter case with a what appears to be a thicker watch, you get kind of a chunky feel or perception off of that watch. So just keep that in mind. It, it looks chunky, but it really isn't any, any taller than any other standard diver watch. So just because of the smaller case size, it just tends to feel like it's taller, but it really isn't. So keep that in mind. It's a little top heavy um, because of the light leather strap. Um, but I think that's something that I actually, I'm okay with because it fits really well. I can get the strap to fit nice, not snug, but I can get it to fit just perfect. So I don't get a lot of slop of movement, movement of the watch on my wrist. Um, it may be more prone to catch on things, but you know, I just don't think that it's, that tall or that high profile off the off the wrist so i, I i'm going to mention that as a, a caution that uh, you know if you're bumping into stuff a lot or you tend to scratch your uh, you know, mineral crystals on other watches this might be one that you want to keep an eye on but uh, have no fear there's a sapphire crystal too so let's get to fitment the fitment part of this is excellent it's a leather strap it's kind of a lightweight leather strap but it really does work the adjustments on the strap are great um, they're the right increments in my mind between the holes of the strap. So I think you can get some really good fine tuning of the watch onto your wrist. It is thin leather, so keep that in mind. Um, so the fitment also, I think, applies to the case because it's a smaller size case. I think you're going to find a sweet spot on your wrist a little bit a little bit easier. As far as the finish goes, uh, the brushed sides on this watch really lends itself to that sport watch um, opportunity. Um, the polished bezel gives it some class, gives it some finish, gives it some polish, gives it, I don't know, just kind of a, a little more formal look to it. So it really does have this hybrid, like you could wear this to a semi-formal event or, or an outing or whatever it is. Um, it does have a little dressier look to it. So it's that sporty or a dressy sporty kind of a watch to it. It does have a sapphire crystal, which is awesome. And I mentioned that what seems like a higher profile but with a sapphire crystal, you can kind of, you know, breathe easy because your crystal is not going to be as scratched as easily with the sapphire there. So that's awesome. The display case back is cool. I'm not a huge proponent of them because I just don't spend a lot of time looking at them. Um, so because mostly because that's the side that's against the wrist. So I just don't, uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time looking at a, a display case back. The other thing to this is the finish on the crown. The crown is excellent. It has the right size. It has the right texture to it. So the finishing on the crown to make adjustments to your watch is awesome. It's a screw down crown and it has a nice pop to it when it, when it pops out and uh, putting the, the screw down crown back, uh, it catches pretty easily. So I think it's, it's really a good crown. Accuracy is within the range of what it should be. It's an NH35. I'm not seeing any change in the time graph or you'll see some video of me doing some pistol shooting. 
And I, I do that because there's, there's an impact to that, uh, that activity when I'm wearing the pistol and, you know, the recoil of the gun and that. So this really does a good job of testing. And I've had some other Chinese watches that have not made it through some similar types of activities like chainsawing. Cause I do a lot of firewood gathering, things like that. So I do try to have some moderate impact or moderate vibration type things or activities that happen with these watches to test their accuracy. And so far, no change, um, no need to regulate the watch as of yet. It's a quality movement. So moving on to legibility and loom, this is a high contrast dial. I love the dial. Um, the design of this market Islander and whoever else was on the design team did an outstanding job putting this one together. So I kudos to those guys that the team that put that together did an awesome job. Um, I love the rectangles, you know, between the hour markers and just, it gives that railroad track look to it. Um, the theme of the watch really fits really well. The handset, the seconds, the minutes, and the hour, perfect size hands. Um, easy to see. <clears throat> the legibility of those hands is phenomenal. I really don't have any issue with those hands with my reading glasses off. I can read the time, no problem whatsoever. And even this being a 36 millimeter diameter case, because keep in mind, this compresses everything, makes things a little smaller, makes the hour hand and minute hand just proportionally. You're going to have to shrink things down a little bit as a result of a smaller dial. So the, again, the design team did an awesome job. Talk about the the loom. This is, I think, one of the disappointments of the, of the watch is the loom. It's average at best. Um, I wish it was better, but it doesn't last as long as I thought it would last. Um, you know, four or five in the morning, yeah, I can kind of see the minute hand. The hour hand, I have a hard time seeing. And this is a this is the other complaint I have. There are two complaints. The other complaint is the hour hand. I can just see the tip of it when it's fully loomed up, when it's fully charged up with light. Um, I just see the tip of the hour hand, and it's it's similar in size to the second hand, although the second hand is moving much faster, obviously. So, but with reading glasses off, um, it's difficult to see the hour hand. And so that's a, that to me, if they'd have just moved the loom further towards the center so I could see some of the width of the hour hand over the loom, I think it'd be a fantastic adjustment. So if they have the ability, if you guys have the ability to make that adjustment, that would be my, my recommendation is to move that loom closer to the center so that the hour hand is easier to read in the uh, low light loomed uh, context. So the hands stand out pretty good. I, I really like that. Uh, the loom is, is average at best. Just kind of sum that up. I think it could be better. Um, a few more things, just kind of general conclusions about this. this. This is a classic design, kind of a 20th century design. Love the high contrast. It's easy to operate. It's a really easy watch to wear. The strap is great. The crown is great. The weight is great. Um, it's just, it's an easy reader. Um, some of the, the features about this that I like is the 100 meters of water resistance. So there's no need to worry about water. Wearing this, you know, showering, bathing, swimming, scuba diving, snorkeling. You know, scuba diving within reason, this is not a dive watch, but 100 meters of water resistance is a significant depth. So I would have no issues with snorkeling for sure. The display case back is cool. Not a high priority for me, but if you like a display case back, that's kind of a cool thing. The sapphire crystal is a must with the, the profile of this watch above the wrist. You really need to have a sapphire crystal, which it does, and it's great. Great movement, 20 millimeter straps for swapping things out. It has a nice big crown. The loom dial... It's easy to read, and again, the unique design of this I think is fantastic. One thing I do want to change out on this is the strap, because what holds me back from wearing this, and I think this is something to keep in mind with any leather strap especially, um, is if you're in a, a profession like mine where I'm you know, outdoor power equipment and things like that in the summertime, so I'm you know sweating, I have sweaty arms and that, it just it's not good for leather. So I'm looking for a metal bracelet. And if anybody has any suggestions on a 20 millimeter metal bracelet that tapers, because I have one right now that's a 20 millimeter that doesn't taper and it just doesn't look right, partly because the case is small. So it just needs to, to taper relatively quickly off of the lug bar. So um, that's what I'm looking for. If you have any ideas, put those in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, but I would really, I think I would wear this watch more if it had 
a metal bracelet. So I'm on the prowl for a metal bracelet. So overall, the score on this watch is a 9 out of 10. I think this would be an easy 10 out of 10. One of the few watches well, you have it, everybody. that could score a 10 That's out of 10. That's the review for the Islander Pen watch. It's a great watch. Highly recommend it. It's one that I recommend for everyday use. It certainly has a sporty look to it, but also has a classical look to it that I think is what attracted me to this watch with the full loom or a partially loomed dial, which I'm always a, a sucker for. So leave your comments down below and like and subscribe. Let me know what you think and uh, let me know what other watches you have that uh, I could be doing a review for. That'd be great. So until next time, my name is Tim. This is another Real Ideal Gear Review. See you.